Hi everyone, I'm Raven and this is Tatiana. And we are here with this week's episode of Fashion Photo Review. Where we will be tooting and booting the looks on the main stage of this week's episode of All right, so Raja couldn't be here this week. She is busy touring with Iggy Azalea. They're probably gonna end up at Studio 54 somewhere. <laughs> she always does. But we have Tatiana here. So how have you been? I've been great. How you have you beautiful? been? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? I'm kind of loving a door. I okay. love a door. You're both airheads, I get it. Yeah, you know, we're right there with each other. <laughs> It works out. I'm rooting for Bianca. Obby. Bitch. <laughs> a bitch. All right, so here we go with look one. Now this, to me, is a very beautiful color. I love blue, I love any shade of blue, and I love blue when it's a little deeper, and especially when you get that nice shimmer. Mm -hmm. I like the little accoutrement of peacock feathers along the side and along the hip. The only thing is that this seems like we've seen it most of the season. Yeah, it's a very similar shape. I feel like it's walked down the runway quite a few times. Although her gowns always hit in the right spot, they always hug her body the right way. I just, I would like to see if she actually has legs. She could be wearing combat boots for all we fucking know. The entire season, we've never seen her hooves. Yeah, I wanna see her in something short. Like not too short, just like, give me a kneecap. I'm cool with a kneecap. Showing kneecaps from Tatiana. <laughs> Who would have thought that, <laughs> girl, we saw your nungas hanging out on season <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm looking at this. It's well manufactured. It's beautiful. I have to give this to her hair is always great. That lace is Unclockable. Yeah, so definitely a two. So this look I feel like I've seen it like five times on Housewives of somewhere I've literally seen this dress everywhere. I think it's pretty like I'd wear it But I don't think that that I would categorize it as my best drag I think it's a no. cute cocktail dress. For me personally, when I'm looking at this, I see a very sheer dress over what look like nude boy panties. I would go a little bit further at trying to create that nude look under yeah. all of those rhinestones because the beadwork on this is beautiful. Absolutely. And I know that that fabric that the beads are on is not cheap, but then we get down to the shoes with that, like, I just don't I get it. Don't get the shoes at all. They're too dark. You could have gotten like silver, or something like brighter, a little bit more metallic, Or shimmery. maybe a nude pump. Her wigs always look great though. Her wigs do look Except great. Except for that first one, girl. Mm -mm. She was a little crunchy. It was thirsty, bitch. <laughs> you know, in its entirety, for this look, even though I don't care for the shoes with this, I will give this a two. Overall, I'll give it a two. This, again, she's worn the entire season. It's been yeah. just, I mean, I, fringe. She's got some fringe. She's got beaded fringe on. Fringe is never bad. No. To me, it's kind of granny. Very granny. The color's pretty. Again, it's blue. I love blue. I like the hair color with yes. the dress color. The juxtaposition, the contrast. That's good. It's, it's great. But that. then we get all the way down to that hemline. Could be a little longer. And then you see those shoes. And the shoes just don't really go with the dress. The shoes don't go with anything. No. I'll oh. be honest about it. Okay. Uh, she said it. She meant it. It's, I mean, <laughs> And I bet if I were to lift that hemline up, there's a fucking ankle strap in there. <laughs> For me, this is a boot. Yep, I agree. It's definitely a boot. I'm not blown away, so. Here is our fourth and final contestant of RuPaul's Drag Race season six that is vying for the spot of America's next drag superstar. Well, here's something a little shorter for you. It's above the knee. So it's above the knee. You like that. But then the other hemline is just almost right under her cooch. So it's like, eh, something seems a little off. Maybe I would have wore a different shoe. I don't know. I think it's the shoe that's really kind of throwing me off. I like the actual sequins in it, but the shape to me is just wrong. And I definitely don't like the hair with this look. If she had styled it a little more different, maybe took it like a throwback or something with the shape of that dress, I think it would have worked better. But as is, it's a little just mm. not right. There's certain parts of it that look good but in its entirety, this is RuPaul's Drag Race season six finale, when you're supposed to be showing, you know, hey, here I am, I wanna win. If it were earlier on in the competition, I would give it a toot, but I think now I have to boot it. Yeah, it's a boot. Sorry. Our, Our top, top toot of the week is, is. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I'm seeing faux Great. plumage, a little bit of peacock. I love the color, I like the train. I mean, it is something that is pretty typical with her, but. In its entirety, this is a beautiful look. So I say this is our top two of the week for the finale 
absolutely gorgeous. Trend alert. Shimmer, Stop. sequins, bead, and sparkles. Way to go out with a bang, bitches. So what I want to know is, what's the deal behind the t-shirts? Because you look gorgeous in them. Well, thank you. I know I do. Um, you know what? Here's the thing. And this is, this is honesty and realness, okay? You want to talk about being real? You want to talk about honesty? This is for real. The very first time we were here filming, I ran outside and I threw one of these shirts on. Okay. When I came back downstairs, I actually had something with me to wear. And the producer of this show was clicking his nails at me, telling me I had to hurry up and get in front of the camera. So I threw a wig on, sat here with a t-shirt and this hair. We thought, you know what, it would be funny sitting here doing commentary on fashion and here I am wearing a t-shirt with a bathing suit on it. Why the hell not? I have a plethora of gowns, sequined beautiful things that you might find on the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race, but I'm saving that for season 18 of RuPaul's Drag Race when I audition again and come in second place again. That's why I wear the t-shirt. Also, it's comfort, go. bitch. You ain't got a tuck, you ain't got a pad, you ain't got to put no titties on. It's nice and cool. You can turn. It's just lovely. So that's why I wear the shirt. So all of you out there in YouTube world that watch this, that's the reason why I wear these. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to, to WOW Presents. Presents.